啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。St. Louisans like to roll bocce balls and throw darts and even toss washers, but here. St. Louisans are crazy about pitching. Sticking up like a metal stake in the backyard, it's still a surprise to find the one and only National Horseshoe Pitchers Hall of Fame in a St. Charles County Park, even in a state where the mule is the official state animal, and in the part of that state where if we didn't have an arch, the Clydesdales would be the official symbol. This is one of those places that you either know or you don't and it's a real live shrine to serious horseshoe pitching. Uh, Carl Steinfeld, Harold Reno, Dan Kaczynski, the Ray Martin, uh, all those guys in that top line are in the Hall of Fame. But more than horseshoe history, more than murals and exhibits in cases, more than a shrine to the greats of the game, even in the Hall of Fame, you can't ignore the sound. The Three Acre Quail Ridge Horseshoe Club is the biggest indoor horseshoe facility in America. 16 regulation courts, 22,000 square feet, plus the outside courts. Missouri and St. Charles County in particular are hotbeds of horseshoes and have been for a long time. It makes sense the world's only horseshoe hall of fame is here. Big time horseshoe leagues started around here a long time ago in New Melly. The club's membership was bigger than the town's population. You're in horseshoe country out here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we have over 200 members here in our club, just for our club alone. And uh, every day we have visitors that come out here throughout the, the country. And uh, they're just anxious to see what it's all about. And they're all very impressed when they come in here and see it. There is a friendly atmosphere here, sure, but the games are no picnic. They are serious competitions. Suffice it to say, this is a very dedicated group, dedicated enough to want and build a Hall of Fame. Most people think a horseshoe is just out in the backyard, sure. not any further, but when you get in competitive horseshoes, it becomes a lifetime thing, and it's in your blood just like any other sport does. Horseshoes can be as layback as uh, just a backyard game, a friendly game, or you can pitch against the top people in the world. And it's a family affair. Uh, they can start here uh, anywhere from six years old, and they can play up until 90 years old or more. It's not completely true anymore. Okay, maybe a little. But back in the days of the out in the country Sunday afternoon church social, and even a lot of years after that, some people, men, said dainty ladies weren't supposed to play horseshoes. But some St. Charles County women took matters and horseshoes into their own hands. Horseshoe pitching was not for women in the early days. They, they were home cooking and washing clothes and everything. And then in 1991, at the New Melly Horseshoe Club, they voted to let the women in. That was huge, all that, wasn't it? Yes, it was a big deal because there were some men that even quit because of that. They call horseshoes a game that's very easy to learn. Just stand and chuck it. Well, more than chuck it. You've got to use a little finesse and skill. But even so, it's definitely an easy game that's difficult to master. And yes, what the kids used to tell you in grade school is true. Is it true that close counts in horseshoes and hand grenades? <laughs> close does count, yes. <laughs> For a point. <laughs> pitch, pitch, pitch. It's a Wentzville thing. For HEC TV, I'm Aaron Mermelstein. La, 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 la.